Alright, man, it's another episode of GTV Real Air Production Interviews. We out here in East Hartford, CT. Inside. Real close to the house and shit. Here with a special artist. I've been doing his thing for many years, many years. You've seen him around, seen him on our cameras, seen him with a special person that ain't here with us no more, but I'm gonna let him talk about that. But first, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Y'all already know what's up. It's Big Mach, Machi. You know, it's Eastside, everything, fast food, family, nasty life, lost souls, everything. You feel me? We here. Rick Lane Production. Appreciate y'all for coming to the hood. You feel me? So appreciate you for hitting us up to do your interview. Now, I actually owe him for the dish, bro. Rest in peace, Big Flex. I, I, met, I meant to say that shit off rip. Feel me? Rest in peace, Stacks. Real shit. Big Flex used to say nothing but good shit all day about him. I swear to God. That's Big Bro to Flex, bro. Rest in peace, Torch. Torch, God damn, Paito, I miss you, bro. Paito was the first dude to ever give me ice cream money. You heard from Charter Road. 249 calls, bro. I'm, I'm really from Hoff, but East Hoff is my home. All right, so Big Miles, let me know how things been going with you. What's good with you? Uh, I'm back, man. This is my comeback. You feel me? Like, I took three years off, had my son. Yeah, I mean, he was born in the pandemic. That was the crazy part. So, like, you know, everybody got scared of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, just having the sicknesses. Like, everybody, you ain't even want to go to work. You feel me? But, like, once he was here, like, he changed my whole outlook, man. I was out here getting twisted, faded every day, banging. Doing music like it was the only thing I had going for myself. So I took a break, you feel me? But this is my comeback, you know what I'm saying? And y'all actually getting the first taste of it, so. You know what I mean? I already got the album ready. Everything's coming, sorry for the wait. You feel me? It's, it's coming. Let's touch on the break, What was like some of the difficulties you went through, like stopping to do your music and you wanted to do it, but the circumstances like, not allowed. Plus, like, having the sons, so that's like, more responsibility. It's, it's like having withdrawals, you feel me? Like, this, you want that fix, you know what I'm saying? And it's something new. Like, I actually got my son, you know what I'm saying? If, if everybody that knows my story, they know I lost five kids, you know what I'm saying? I should have had six right now, but I got, I got blessed with my little boy, you know what I'm saying? And at that time, like, I had my son when I was doing Shade 45, opening up for DMX at Toad's Place. Like, my son came around that time, so like, I was at a peak in my stuff, so like, the normal person would be like, damn, you just stopped? Like, you ain't just, nah, I stopped because priorities coming up, like, you know what I'm saying? Gotta have accountability as a man. So me personally, my son, my blessing, like, I stop everything. I stop rapping again right now if he, if, if he needs me, you know what I'm saying? Well, so, let, let, let those people know, like, what type of, Thing that played like on your mental, but like, did it? Were you writing during those times? But like, you know, you was still like from the fence and paper and stuff like that. The craziest shit is that ever since I was in high school, and I'm an old nigga. You know what I mean, I ain't been in high school in 20 years. You feel me? So like, ever since high school, all my homies they know I was the one. Every class, I'm not writing no English shit. I'm teaching the, 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 the teachers learning from me how I'm rapping. That's how I learn how to write and read. You feel me? Like, I, I was one of them, I was crazy with that shit. I couldn't read fast. Like, you know, the type of nigga that, yeah, nah, don't pick me. You feel me? Like, but then once I started writing, it was since high school. Like, but as far as your question, hell yeah, I was writing. That's one thing. Like, I don't have to go to the studio. But, like, you gotta understand, a person like me, I was used to being in the studio, like, four or five hours. He's the only one that you Yo, E, I'm recording a video. I'm gonna kick your ass. That's, that's on camera, all right? All right, so like, you're going through the process, like, how has your music changed? Like, just you coming out with new stuff, like, how you coming out with stuff, like, has, uh, what have you put into your music, or take out of your music, like, you know, since having a kid? More growth, man. Less bang bang shit, like, I ain't gotta play tough with nobody, you know what I'm saying? And I used to glorify that, because everybody knew I'd get drunk and I'd, Whoever wanted me to get in pinky, you know what I'm saying? But like, as, as of now, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking my trials and tribulations, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm taking the good with the bad and understanding the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Me, I'm, I'm a knucklehead, so like, bipolar, all that type of shit. So like, 
I'm erratic with how I act on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could, I could be mad, fight you right now, but two minutes later, yo, drink with me, bro. We good. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm one of those friends. You feel me? You either gonna love me or hate me. You can't do both. You gotta do one. Let's talk about the studio. We're gonna keep it on the album. We're gonna talk about the studio flow, like When you go into the studio, how you like it to be? Like, you like to be by yourself, with the engineer, you like to be with like. Too slow. Go either way. I'm cool with the one on one with the engineer, but I'm also good with my homies because I'm the type of person I gotta drink. I'm not drinking a whole bottle like that by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I need a couple heads to take a couple shots, bottles. You know what I'm saying? The liquor. I roll up all the time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all mind if I burn on okay? camera? Right. Kids don't do drugs. Yes, sir. So, thank you, buddy. Out the you. Stuff from back day. How was the, um, like, do you remember when you did your first track? My first track was on a boombox. When you press record, you know what I mean? But I have. How far, how far ago that was? That was 2003. Some people watching this, that wasn't even recording. I was barely recording. I was only like eight years old. What? You was eight years old? God damn, son, I'm old, bro. <laughs> Shit. Leave that in here. That's just, <laughs> leave that. Y'all ain't got to edit too much of this, man. I'm giving you all the real. I know everybody be like, yo, take this out. Nah, you ain't got to fix nothing with me. I live how I am. Like, I ain't going to front for nobody. Straight all done. What's going on with this new album, Mike? You got any features on it? And who producer? Producer-wise, Speedy Baby, it's your boy Sonny. Um, an old half from the Brit has named Chuck Platt, like home beyond shit, like home hard. Like he gave me beats like two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like he was one of the people trying to get me to come back. But like I kept the beats, and the weird shit is that I actually liked them. Like when I when I listened to them later, because I'm the type of person I hear something and then I'm like, nah, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? But. But I got I got I got some I got some aces in the hand, you know what I'm saying? Like as far as features, you might see Harford Paul on there. Shout out to Paul. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually trying to get Fuego. He pulled up out here on me. Yeah, I mean, Fuego salute, bro, salute Paul. Y'all niggas been working. God bless everything. Yeah, I mean, but. Nah, but like, as far as that, you're gonna see family members, you know what I mean? If y'all if y'all know anything I've done, the features that I had before, y'all gonna see them like Rule, probably, you know what I mean? Papers, Frizzy, you know what I mean? Deuce, Stevie. I'm trying to get John Dillon to my engineer. I'm trying to get him on the record. Johnny Hall. But as far as that, yeah, I, I'm not really looking to work with anybody, if that's a question. Like, I'm not. Man, most of the people I love dead, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, fuck it. I'm just trying to leave a legacy for my son to be like, yo, damn, my pops is out here at every age, you know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't was running with the little niggas, like, outside. Speak on that, like, what's, what's beyond the album, like, you got your plans for that? Where you see yourself, like, five, ten years from now, even if you're not signed, or, or you are signed, like, when, what do you, what's your definition of that? Yes, end game? That's what I mean. Nah, not the end game, you always gonna keep on going the marathon. Nah, a dude, a dude asked me the same question you asked me. And I, I told him, I said, we can't predict that shit. Yo, watch out, watch out. We could try to, like, you know what I mean? Like, what's it called? When you try to talk to something, like manifest it. We could try to manifest it, you know what I'm saying? But see, hopefully in 10 years, they got something as big as that for my son, with a house on it. You know what I'm saying? Just for him, though. Like, I don't live there. That's his shit. You know what I'm saying? But like, you ask me any of my goals, it just relates to my little man, you know what I'm saying? As long as he good, I'm good. That's it, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, of course my mom's, but you know what I mean? Like, other than her and my son, like, who really gonna get that, you know what I'm saying? I asked you about your feature list, but who are some CT artists that you haven't worked with, because you know you've been doing this for a long time, so it probably ain't that many, but you have to be worked with that you really work with. Then who in the industry you want to work with? Damn. To be honest with you, I've been out of the loop for a minute, so like there's a lot of new dudes, no disrespect. 
I just ain't been in tune with social media like that. I just post and get off. Who I haven't worked with that I want to, it's kind of hard. I, you name somebody, I probably got a record with them. Because over the years, man, I used to have everybody just come to sessions. The first day I met Fuego and them, like, it was at an interview, and I, I told them to come through to the studio. We was just locked in, man. I, I, I couldn't tell you a CT rapper that I haven't worked with. But God bless all of them. No hate in my heart, you feel me? Anybody I want to work, holla at me. And as far as the industry, I want to work with Nelly's, you know what I'm saying? Like, home, home fire. He from Boston, too, so he close by. Davies. I want to do a record with that girl, Scarlet, or whatever her name is. You know what I mean? Big Scar. She hard. She got that aggressive, you know, energy. That shit means a lot to me. Alright, so, name a couple things that you find, like, most satisfying with doing the music, and some things you find that give you a little bit different. Time. Time. The only difficulty you have is trying to make time for everything, you know, damn well you ain't got no time. But, like, the comfortability in it is just knowing that it's there. You got it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's timeless if you make it timeless. If you're just trying to fit in for the time right now, that shit gonna go out the window. Time Let's talk about your next plans for 2023 after the album. You got a show coming up, features on your body coming up. Show was... Show-wise, I'm trying to get back in touch with Big Mike. Big Mike, holla at me. You know what it is, bro. I'm the only nigga that got Big Mike to pull up. Just like how they pulled up on me to do this video, Big Mike pulled up out here, too, to give me tickets to the camera, to the DMX show. All them shows was through Big Mike, but I'm trying to get back in that way, try to set up like a little tour or something, so I booked a couple shows ahead of time. But then, um... Yeah, man, I'm going to just give y'all visuals and music, man, for right now. I'm going to do interviews, I'm going to do freestyles, I'm going to do everything right now to get it out the way for everybody. But other than that, like, all you're going to get is just a regular motherfucker just to try and live, man. That's it. I ain't starting on nobody, like, you know what I mean? It is what it is, brother. And there's one last question. Since you, I won't say older head, but you got something. You got something. You a veteran in this yeah, you, got you, got, you, got, you got some status in here. So what could you, advice could you give to like the younger guys doing anything coming up so that like they can avoid the mistakes that you made? Me telling myself, uh, me myself at this age telling myself at a 20 year old age, don't take no for the answer. It sounds crazy because it could get you in trouble. But if you stand for what you believe, you ain't taking no for an answer, you know what I'm saying? Some people will give up. Like, you know what? It's stressful, it's taking energy out of me. They quick to tap out. Nah, we ain't tapping out. Just keep it going, you feel me? If the car ain't got no gas, get out and push to the gas station. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get to where you gotta go. Your destination is right there. Once you put an address in GPS, that bitch don't shut up till you get there, right? You know what I mean? That's how you gotta take it. Let that shit go up your head, man. I heard it here first. What's up, Rick Lane? Yo, I appreciate y'all niggas, man. Oh, shit.